I got Devin Weatherspoon, and you got Christian Gonzalez. So make your case for why he's the best corner. <sighs> Look, man. I'm going to poke holes in yours, and you gotcha. can poke holes in mine. 5'11", 181. That's that's what a top corner looks like, right? <laughs> exactly. Um, versatility. Uh, I think if you want a guy that can get one of these Hunter Renfro guys, like, you know, short area quickness, and you need a guy that has some fast feet, quick, uh, very fast and quick in short area uh, situations, he has it. And I think this is where he can be very special. He's a violent player. It's the best way to explain him. Like, you watch film on him. You watch Illinois. You're going to find out who who Devin Weatherspoon is really quick. He's going to have a violent tackle. He's going to maybe put someone on the fucking floor from pressing him so fucking hard. And you're going to notice him. Uh, Heavy hands. Heavy jabber. Like, his hands, when it comes to press, I would say it's probably a little bit better than Sauce Gardner coming out. And Sauce Gardner was a hell of a presser. Um, football IQ, outstanding. Um, you can tell that he gets zones. He breaks on balls. Uh, he fills guys behind him. Like, watching the linebackers, it's kind of funny because I watch the linebackers after the corners. And I see them in zone coverage, and it's like, <laughs> you know how like the good players know, like, oh, they can this guy's guys. coming right here, but yeah. I know this guy's coming backside. Let me yeah, go ahead and drift yeah. off. He has that. He gets yeah. zone coverage, uh, and closing speed. Uh, I remember, you know, who's a guy who he reminds me of with closing speed, and he's one of your favorites. You had him on the list. I didn't that year. Uh, Paulson Adebo. Remember your boy. That's who he kind of reminded me of on tape as as far as college wise, as just that closing speed, fucking deadly. You know, Juan, I don't think he has the greatest top end speed. I'm not really gonna talk about my pros because Juan pretty much hit them all. So I'm just gonna i I'm gonna be the devil's advocate. He's small, you know, 5'11", 180 pounds, he's light, doesn't have great length to play press, even though he's really good at press. And the big con for me is he's way too aggressive at times. It bites him in the ass, whether it's a double move. It's There was a play against Michigan where he's kind of on an island, but he sold out so hard against the flat, he let the guy just go right over the top of him. Yeah. So, you know, one thing I don't think you said it enough, this guy tackles like a like a safety. He's like, I don't want to I don't, I don't just tackle you. I want to kill you. And the thing that worries me is like, is he going to get hurt? Because right now, what is he? He's hurt. hurt. Can't participate in the pro day at Illinois. Can't participate at the combine. If I saw him run, he put some of my questions to bed. Yeah. But, you know, this guy to me, he, I think he's going to be primarily a slot guy in the NFL. He remind me a little bit of Mike Hilton, just from the role I could see him playing. Because Mike Hilton's like that really good slot guy that's aggressive. Remember against Tennessee, he's jumping bubble screens, getting picks. This guy is really freaking good. Have been number two. Mm. So those are my questions. And that's why I don't have him. He had more questions and more serious questions than Christian Gonzalez said, who's my number one. I get you. Because um, I, I know I just said negative stuff, but yeah. he, he's my two? number two. Yeah. I'm only poking holes just because I'm. we're only right. doing this in case of one and two. Exactly. No, I get you. Um, he did get the ability to kind of avoid playing some of the top end guys. I was just going to mention that. To miss out on saying Marvin Harrison. I didn't see him play Marvin Harrison. Right, yet. right. And you know what? Well, Marvin Harrison embarrassed a lot of people like your boy. Keely Ringo. And, and Christian boy. Gonzalez. Yeah. Had a, so, <laughs> let's just say this Oregon, the team, isn't the same. And, you know, Christian Gonzalez, that was his big thing. Yeah. He's not that physical. I think this is the opposite of the spectrum of Devin Witherspoon's too physical. Christian Gonzalez. Not physical enough. Yeah. Very two different players here. Very much. But this you know guy's six two. He's two hundred pounds. And this guy's smooth. Yeah. Real smooth. Yeah. And uh it's it's funny that you bring up the competition with with uh Devin Witherspoon. It was so bad at times, like the guys that he was playing, as small as he is, Max, he was putting dudes on the ground with his press. Yeah. That's never like, gonna happen in the pros. No, like, no, no. you're I'm not sorry. you're not gonna press DK Metcalf. Sorry, but, yeah. but to me, Max I feel like a, a slot corner is very undervalued on the outside premises of the NFL fans community. I don't think people realize how important a slot corner is. I know you do. I know I, know I do. 
but I don't think people talk about it enough. Everyone's trying to look for the 6'2", Derek Stingley, Sauce Gardner. Oh, my God, the length, the height. You know what? I think I see a lot more guys in the NFL that are similar to Jamar Chase body type than, let's say, a Mike Evans, Julio Jones. I think a lot more guys in the NFL are looking more like that nowadays. So I have a lot more confidence in Devin Witherspoon and succeeding on the outside. Does it scare me? Yes, it does. But worst comes to worst, Max, I wrote down, he's going to be a bona fide slot corner, and I'm not going to blink an eye. And I don't have a problem picking him outside the top five for a really, really good slot corner because he's going to do more than cover. He's going to he's going to you play a a team like the Niners and you're like, hey, we need you to tackle this week. He's going to be the I trust him more in that than Christian Gonzalez. But I always say I'm not drafting a corner in the top 10 because I want him to be the best tackler on my team. I want this guy to shut down the receivers. This is the 1980s. This is hey, teams are passing more than they're running the ball now. Yeah. So Christian Gonzalez, I'm going to make my case. Uh, who, or, who was your comp for Devin Witherspoon? You said remind me of Mike Hilton. Mike Hilton. Bigger Mike Hilton. Much bigger. I had, so if he plays on the outside. You said Paulson Adebo. No, no, no. no. Oh, okay. I said for closing speed, reminds me of that. But Physicality, too. Yeah. For on the outside, Casey Hayward. What about, guy. What about Rocky Sin a little bit? Smaller Rocky Sin. Because they're so physical, these guys. Rocky yeah. Sin's a physical wrestler I, I just, who's he, bigger, much he, bigger. He is just so much better than Rocky Sin. That's just, you know. Um, a guy that I have in the slot for him that plays like him, and I watch him very closely, Nate Hobbs. He plays like Nate Hobbs because Nate Hobbs is super aggressive, and it's just funny that they both went to Illinois. It's hilarious because they're teammates. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Just because I have Christian Gonzalez, too, and you have him one, and I have Devin Weathers. <laughs> really like the, I think these guys are in their yeah, own class. Yeah, they're so fucking good. They're in their own class, in my opinion. Exactly. They're, this is where the tier yeah. um, I, I totally, I totally get what, what you see in Devin Witherspoon. It's just not my cup of tea. It's more right. yours. Yeah. yeah. And um, I just want to end it with I, I love Christian Gonzalez, man. I think he's going to be a hell of a player. And you pick him in the top ten. I'm doing backflips if – the fucking Raiders draft him. I, I would love Devin Witherspoon or Christian Gonzalez. That's who I want the Raiders to draft. I know the Jalen Carter stuff is a little bit weird with them, but I think the Raiders haven't had a, a great corner since Namdi. <laughs> and I'm fucking, you go great. I am so sick and tired of it. And whoever the guy is, I just hope it's one of them too. 